am Tracy from Barnet Library Service from the Early Years team. Um, it's just a quick little video or and a, um, to show you how to make some homemade instruments because I'm going to be doing a, a video later with um, some instrument songs in so you can join in. Um, so I thought what I'd do was come, um, come downstairs, welcome to my kitchen and um, sort of uh, dig out what's in my larder really, what's in my cupboards and what we can make. I know that for some of you who've come to our sessions before, we've done music sessions and we've made shakers and drums out of things. So you might still have those, great. But for those of you who haven't, um, we normally make them with things like um, juice or water bottles, clean them out, put some rice, pasta, lentils um, into them, uh, glitter, also, and then decorate them with stickers or anything that you've got laying around the house. We've even done some lovely ribbons around the bottles. Um, unfortunately, all of my crafty stuff is at the library, and as they are closed, it's a case of what I've got in my cupboards, which will be the same for most of you. So, what I've done, as I said, is just dug out what I can find. Um, but we'll start with shakers. If you wanted to make a shaker, you could, as I said, use a water bottle or a juice bottle, um, and, and a fillet full of pasta or rice. Um, I don't actually um, buy water, I, I refill, so this is one of my water bottles that I use. Um, beauty with this is you can actually use it and then empty it out and reuse it again. The other nice thing I like is it's got a very tight um, uh, twist on it. So obviously with very small children, uh, with any children really, you wouldn't leave them unsupervised with any homemade instruments, um, obviously, so that's just a, a no-no. Um, you can obviously enjoy and have great fun with them while you're using the instruments. And then what I would say is when you're not in the room with them, put the instruments away. So this is a great one because it's, you know, most children can't actually open these. So I would use something like this as well if you don't have a water bottle. Fill it full of anything you like and then you can seal it up and it's great. Um, I happen to find, um, for, it's an old pot for a diffuser. Um, and uh, what is nice about this one is um, it does make a sound of a rainmaker. Inside here, I've just added some rice, as you can see there, but there is a little bit of cardboard in here, which um, if you put some pieces of cardboard in, it gives you something to roll, um, run against, and then you get that nice rainmaker sound. So that's quite a nice one to make. Um, if you've got very small children and they've got little hands, um, I found these, these are like um, dressing pots if you wanted to take, or just keeping something small in. Um, but one of the things I've used is that probably a well-known cereal that you all know. Um, if they're a little bit older, obviously, they could possibly have a little snack um, halfway through. But if they're old enough to make it, it's quite nice for them to do it with you so then they can get to choose what goes into the pots and, and um, the different sounds it makes. So that makes a really nice one. Again, it's got a really hard seal. Most children won't be able to open that, so that's quite safe. And I like the size of it for little ones as well. I've got another very small one here. Um, again, it's small, and I've also used cereal, a different type of cereal, and this one just, just integrates, so very unlikely to have any choking issues with that one, but as always, don't leave them on their own, so that's another nice one. I also found this one, um, and I managed to find some raisins to go inside as well, so just the contrast of the raisins to the cereals, they're just really nice, maybe you could make two or three, and, and, and that's kind of nice for the children too. Um, another good one is these ones with the very stiff clips. Um, this has got some pasta and some lentils in, which makes an interesting sound. As I said, I've only used what I've got to hand. I'm sure you'll have lots more exciting bottles and tubs, but just even the variety between these four is quite nice for children just to even explore. And another one with rice that I've made here. Um, and this one I've just put some lentils in, but this is kind of a dual one, so it's nice as a shaker, but if you've got some smaller children, it's also quite nice as a drum. Gives a really nice um, sound from the lentils when you bang it. Uh, um, a raisin tub, I've just uh, decorated it with some uh, silver paper, but I'm sure you've got much more exciting things at home. Again, nice sound, it's quite light as well. Um, good size if you want um, for children who are just sort of sitting up these two. So they're, they're quite a nice size to put between them, between the legs rather, when they're set up, so all supported, and they can and bang those. Um, and you know what? A good old fashioned 
biscuit tin is awesome. It makes an amazing sound and, and it's also a good size. So you've got some drums and some shakers and possibly for those slightly older children, I found a, a chocolate box. Mm, yes. Um, and all I've done is put some elastic bands around it to make sort of, well, an instrument that you could pluck or possibly a guitar maybe. Um, you can use tissue boxes work really well or um, a margarine or um, sort of butter sort of tub or anything like that that you might have. Again, just place your elastic bands around it, as many or as few as you like, and then you can get different sounds. Um, the nice thing about these sort of things is sometimes the bigger the size, the more of a sound you get out of it. This one's quite a good one, the hot if it's quite hollow. So we've got shakers, drums, um, and a, a guitar kind of thing. But as I said, I'm sure you guys will have way more exciting things in your cupboards. Um, and if you don't have um, some of these things, you know, you can just use your pot and pan and, and anything that you want to make some noise with. That's absolutely fine. So um, I'm going to head off now and do some filming for our um, music session. And I hope you're going to join me in that one. Um, if you don't have, if you don't want to make anything, you can just, you know, we can do some uh, actions. You can pretend to play the instruments. It doesn't matter. But um, you might have a bit of fun today getting that sorted. Um, so uh, have a great day. It looks beautiful out there. Take care.